Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. And this is how people disqualify themselves through their own statements. Especially when supposedly you are a, uh, yes, lawyer. Let's say you're a mathematician and you can solve, I don't know, Pythagoras theorem and you can't use it over there. You can apply it. You know what, what that is, let's say. That disqualifies you. Or let's say, I don't know, you're a carpenter and you don't know how to, I don't know, uh, build a deck or something. That disqualifies you as, you know, your profession. So we have here this weasel called uh, uh, Reznikov, who is the, let me show you his beautiful picture, who is the Ukraine's defense minister. So he's one of the four little pigs of Ukraine, uh, which is uh, Zelensky, Zhmihal, Reznikov and Yermak. And um, if you want Sean Penn over there, you get another one. If you want uh, Victoria Nuland, you get another one. If you want uh, Blinken, you get another one and so on. So anyway, so we got this little weasel who's a lawyer. I'm going to show you. And he is going to show you how great he is in his profession. Remember, start from this. Innocent until proven guilty, right? All right. So let's go and read this little article that we have here from um, Ukrainska Pravda. And uh, this weasel says that Prigozhin's death proves Putin should not be trusted. Ukraine's defense minister says today, August 25, 2023. What do you mean proves? Has anything been proven that Putin killed this guy? Or what? Or Putin was his defender or something? All right, let's see how the lawyer uh, makes his case. You will be not surprised. Oleksiy Reznikov, Ukraine's defense minister, believes, that's the right word, believes, that the death of Yevgeny Prigozhin, financier, financier, financer of the Wagner private military company, proves that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin should not be negotiated with as he cannot be trusted. Okay, now you made your statement and now you have to bring the evidence. And I'm quoting, Prigozhin's death made Putin weaker. Okay, that's a statement. I want uh, you to make your case. That has shown the world that what? If Putin decides on any agreement with anyone and breaks it, it means he can no longer be trusted. He still did not provide any evidence of whatever he's talking about. You know exactly what he's talking about. He says, actually, and he's going to say here, that Putin actually ordered the killing of Prigozhin and Putin somehow told Prigozhin that, hey, I will uh, let you go. But it's not proven that he killed him in the first place. It's the behavior of gangsters and the Kremlin behaves like gangsters, like criminals. Again, statement. No evidence. He's, uh, I mean, he doesn't provide it. He said, Dites, he said the death of the Wagnerites leader would not affect the worst course as the Wagner group, in fact, no longer exists. Reznikov explained that mercenaries were a major force a year ago, but now they are defeated. So let's see where he's going to bring it. Oh, on June 24, Alexander Lukashenko, self-proclaimed president, said that his mercenaries were heading back to the field camps, pop, pop, pop. In July, experience exchange, Wagner, oh, small plane, Oblast, Russian aviation claims the list of the planet, Telegram, claim Evgeny because in plane has been shot down by air defense fire. The Gray Zone Telegram channel, which is close to the Wagner group, claimed that Evgeny Prigozhin's plane has been shot down by air defense fire. A terrorist attack on board was reported, reportedly being considered as a line of inquiry regarding the, cr the crash of Prigozhin's plane. The Americans said, no, there's now no missile fired, maybe something inside the plane. Whatever it is, do you have any evidence, Mr. Attorney Reznikov, that Putin ordered the killing of Prigozhin or is somehow involved in kill in, his, uh, in the plane going down? You do not have any evidence. The only evidence that you have is Putin is bad because I say so. And others like me. 
No, he's an attorney. He didn't make his case. I should revoke his license. If this is the way he argues, then I think all his clients would be losers. But another thing here, another thing. They start claiming that Putin promised Prigozhin protection. Okay, I don't know anything about that one. But let's say Putin promised him pr pr uh, protection. What if it was someone else that killed Prigozhin? Still Putin is guilty of that? No, no, because they assume Putin offered him protection and killed him. Therefore, he broke the promise. But it's not proven that Putin killed Prigozhin. That's the whole thing. They start from this already being proven. Nothing is proven, my man. You're a fucking lawyer. Let me show you. And a weasel, obviously. Let me show you here because I'm uh, not uh, joking. Let me show you Mr. Prigozhin. No, Prigozhin. Uh, Reznikov. Oleksiy Reznikov. Um, he is born Bababa. Ba, ba, is a Ukrainian lawyer. Right there. He's a Ukrainian lawyer. And let's see, I think he's got some PhDs and shit, if I remember correctly. N his mom, neurologist, yeah, no wonder. Uh, you can look uh, further than that. All right, he's your Yuri, master of sports, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, Reznikov attended Lviv University, by Lviv being by uh, Poland, receiving a master's degree with honors in law. All right, so you can wipe your ass with that one. Uh, Reznikov during his university years. He won law student Olympics across the Ukrainian US yeah, SSR, Soviet, uh, Soviet Socialist Republic, in the individual and team competitions and represented Ukraine at the law student Olympics across the Soviet Union. Wow, that means he is fantastic, correct? He was what? Confounder, brokish, blah, 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 blah. Okay, nevertheless, he's got, you can read all this, how great he is. And he didn't make the case. He starts from, he, Putin killed Prigozhin, right? How do you know that? I guarantee you he doesn't know. Otherwise, he would come and say, yes, this, 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 this. And many like him. Yes, Putin is attacked. Putin killed Prigozhin. The same way you can claim Biden killed Prigozhin. Or you can claim Zelensky killed Prigozhin. Or I know Tom Jones killed Prigozhin. The same way. And remember, I think Prigozhin was more dangerous to the West. The West, Poland, Ukraine, and then maybe Putin. This was the order of people who Prigozhin was a wanted man. So what's going on here? It's the same thing as you would say, you know what? Oh, well, the Russians uh, destroyed their own pipeline, Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipeline, when it's evident that it works against the Russians. Now, Prigozhin's death works against Putin? I don't know. Probably Putin wanted to get rid of him anyway. But this guy, I'm just showing you how the lawyer, the attorney, the fantastic master with uh, degrees, uh, argues in court. Now, remember, you might not like Putin, which is fine, you might like Reznikov, which is also fine. But imagine that you are Putin, not Putin. Imagine that this guy makes the case against you that way. And someone here. Let's say you have a problem with a neighbor. And other people have problem with your neighbor as well. Bigger problems. All right. And you get in the quarrel with your neighbor and say, you know what? I'm not going to punch you, man. I'm not going to do anything. Q. That's it. Stay there. And then the neighbor, I don't know, uh, his house burns down overnight. And everybody says, you are the ones. Reznikov comes and says, that proves that with Emil you cannot, or with whom you cannot make deals. You didn't prove any connection between me and the arson. Nothing. There's other subs, uh, suspects as well. But no, he's a, you can't talk to Emil. I didn't do anything. No, you cannot. You did it. How about you did it? Uh, well, the same evidence that you have for me, the same evidence I have for you, which is just, you bad, I good, <laughs> basically. Remember, my friends, whenever you want to see and you agree, oh, no, Reznikov, yeah, he's right. Put yourselves in at the receiving end and see how Reznikov would treat you or, or your loved uh, or member of your family, the person that you love the most. Imagine he's the one that Reznikov argues like that. And I guarantee you that you immediately will realize 
This guy has no evidence. What is he talking about? He, he makes a, jokes, a, a joke uh, of himself, which is fine. We fine. Remember this one. That's why when I say in the future that Reznikov is, an, Reznikov is an idiot, this is one reason. He gave me this, among other statements that he made, that he's a low or he's playing this because he knows the audience is low. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.